Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Off. <clears throat> Pardon. All right. Pitiful bastards, disappear this instant. This is my zone and you are not to be here. My side, you fucking phantoms. I wanted to mention, actually, uh, Danon actually swore more in older versions, uh, including using the R word, um, which does fit his character. He's not a polite man. Like, he swears a lot. Um, but I can understand why they took it out. It probably just wasn't what they intended. Just miscommunications between French and English translations. <sighs> you. It's you, the source of all my troubles. The ectoplasmic lord who has his fucking sight set on my beloved zone. What do you want? Why have you decided to be such a pain in my ass? I've dedicated my whole life to this place. You have no right to corrupt it with your pathetic phantoms. Be gone. You're mistaken. I'm not a phantom. I'm a purifier. I've come to cleanse this world of these ectoplasmic beings. I wanted to mention something about his sprites. So, um... Some people aren't sure whether or not those are his eyes. You can see, I can actually just point here. I think, right? Can I point? I can't. Oh, well. But anyway, underneath his hat, it looks like he has an eye and an eyebrow, but they're the same size. So some people think that he has four eyes. Um, just because the tone of this game is really weird. How dare you respond? How dare you think I will just swallow these insults? Listen well, this is simple. Get out of here and take your goddamn specters with you or I am going to kill you. Uh, for your sake, I have made myself clear. If I see you again, you're dead. Tramway will now stop in Alma. Cool. And I can now just take this little elevator through here, and it gives me a little message to be like, hey. So it's raining plastic. His real house is in Alma, as you can see. See, his own one is actually pretty big if it requires the use of the tram. But also, it's likely some of that is just because it's all just water. Um, I'm not allowed to let anyone pass. Let's answer some questions. Sure. Two of them come from Jerusalem and... The Holy Trinity is made out of... I don't remember this. Our Lady wears jersey number... How many threes are there in June? Jonas. I remember now. Uh, San Salvatore of Orta. Roses. The Holy Trinity. Roses. Yep. I'm now forgetting the questions. March, the month of the winds. Third from Orta. Roses. Uh oh. Six? Surreal, Kevin, and Jonas. See, this is one of those, like, many weird puzzles that Off uses. Off is somewhat. Uh, off is somewhat. Um limited by RPG Maker, shall we say. There's only so much that it can actually do. Just, you know, just because it's an RPG Maker game.
Um, and granted, I think it works very well with the RPG Maker. Um, like, the art style is good. Everything is unique. It looks cool. I fucking love this game. But uh, sometimes there are just some really weird puzzles. And I say this like this because I'm currently looking for a walkthrough. But this is a one of those LPs. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Oh, of course. So you have to count the number threes on the posters. And it's sixth because it's 6 p.m. Sorry about that, everyone. Orta. Roses. Sixth. Or 23 on that poster. Or 22, rather. Kirill, Kevin, and Jonas. And we can read 87 because on this poster, of course, these guys ain't no shit though. Nice. My nails are all dirty. So yeah, on this poster, you can read, it says 18, but if you turn it upside down, it says 78, because of the little 7 in there. And then it's Surreal, Kevin, and Jonas. So yeah, the, the clues are all there, it's just kind of esoteric and weirdly handled. Uh, we've now cracked into Rivers of Meat, by the way. I hope everyone's ready for this. Sorry, just doing some stuff. You, uh... I'm here to see Daydon. To Daydon. Yes, of course. You're here in the Meat Fountains of Alma in the center of Zone 1. So earlier, um, I believe all the things are from old French documentation and stuff, just because that makes sense and they would be an open source so you could use them in your video game. Um, here I believe these are, these are just swimming diagrams, these are diving diagrams, but they just said, they've been edited to say meat. Uh, the cows earlier are pictures of geodes and rock deposits and then pictures of cows. Um, Butcher posters, stuff like that. But I wanted to mention, um, there actually are metal deposits that form inside cows. That's a real thing. Sometimes they just eat shit that comes along with their uh, their grass. Because they just graze, right? Sometimes they get metal in there. Who knew? Here, meat flows freely, endlessly filling in these immense metal pools which we find ourselves. Our work consists of pouring this meat into bottles before the fountains overflow. And meat is sent to everyone, those living in Zone 1 and the others. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. So yeah, there's a bit of subterfuge going on in that without meat, people would have nothing to eat and they would devour each other. They may or may not do that already. Minor spoilers. Master Daydon has an office sent to the fountains, but no one has ever found it. Generally speaking, Master Daydon seems to only appear when necessary. Uh, there. Who are you again? I've come to liberate the world of malignants. Uh, oh, really? Well then, can you liberate me? So yes, um... Daydon, right? Nope, not date on. It's going to talk about, um, oh God, I've just completely lost whatever I was going to talk about. Maybe things will be better now. 
Oh shit, I've completely forgotten Zachary's voice. <laughs> Bonjour, Alfred. Oh fuck, what was it? Bonjour, Alfred, in good form. Perhaps you have some credits to spare. All right. Oh. Oops. Right. Let's get some equip on. Nice. Color of Wrath or of Justice. Oh, it's a buff by two. Nice. Um, perfect. <laughs> oh, I can only sell the things that I. Yeah, well. So it was never clear to me why the batter was a batter. This block prevents access to the central part of the fountains. Um, and I think there is a reason, but I need to let me work. I need to reread what the deal is with it. There's a very long, um, There's a very long, like, thing about it where it describes the batter as, um, it describes this whole game. I've never been ill. <laughs> oh, yeah, Padalos. I'm going to go the other way first. It describes this whole game as being, um, so that's a Padalo. I love that. I love those things. I guess I'll save. I use some mana on that. Or some competence points. Also, yeah, I googled it. Yeah, so skill in French is competence. Yeah, it's a padello. It's a little duck boat. One, four, two, nine. Three, eight. I love how they just come out of, like, little cuts in the world. Trocantary. Aqua ghoul with a radiant smile. Light plastic weakness. Heaven's smile is a reference to... Heaven's smile is a reference to uh, Killer Set. Killer 7 is another really weird game for two it's really hard to try to I don't want to be burnt well I'm sorry that's it Th that's why we know that those are called burnt elsons I think you can also scan them Perfect. Oh, damn. But yes, it's possible to read this game in a way of like... I don't want to be a phantom. I will never be a memory. Sorry about that. Just doing some fluff. What's happening to me? Sorry, I keep getting into combat. Then we'll just check out this whole area. This game can be read as allegory. 
for uh, masculinity, I believe. We're not productive enough anymore. That's uh, all it. Adversary is purified. Not working, who will? So one of these leads us down south to where we can grab that stuff. So I also learned, uh, or rather I remembered it, but because I read a thing that described it to me. But basically, the level cap in this game is actually like 50, which is pretty high considering. You can comfortably beat this game from levels like 12 to 15. Below that, I think that there's just too many boss fights that have to happen. And you'll just level up just because you will. Hey, all right. Silver Flesh. Not worth it. What's up, Zachary? Liquid meat is gross to me. Imagine the smell. This must smell like blood. Adversary taken by surprise. Cool. So that's just a way for them to just, you know, you, you stun them, you get in on them quick. So your bar starts full. I don't think I've finished my thing. This is that. This is the thing I do. This is why I need to get tested for ADHD because I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, you can read this whole game as an allegory, allegory for having ADHD, for suffering ADHD. There. Wasn't that fucking hard, Alfred. All right. Now let me check the notebook that I definitely have. Middle left. Right bottom. Middle bottom. Top. Middle right. Middle. Perfect. And then I believe from here we just head south. I did this out of order, you see. Pepper steak is such a good drag. <sighs> I love this song, dude. Can I dismount here? <laughs> I can, nice. Alright, cool. So now we all left is this. I wish you good day, dear omnipresent companion. Soon you will be able to admire all the scarlet and ultramarine landscapes of this zone. You seem distraught by the unique architecture of this place. If such is truly the case, you should learn how to concentrate. So as to be mistaken no more in your choice of opportunities, proposed to you at every corner of this maze. Next time, linger and ponder a little longer before traversing one of those trap doors, you young drunkard. So yeah, we're in a Lost Woods puzzle. And we can tell we've gone the right way because we won't come back out to here. So it's left, up, right twice, 
and then down, left, and then up until you get there. There we go. We have a big save point. Eh, you know what? Let's go a little longer. Joker. Oh, man. Are you certain you want to pass through this gate? Normally, I would end the episode, but I want to fight Daydon. You are the Queen's thousand faces. Are you crazy or just completely idiotic? What part of I am going to kill you wasn't clear to you? I'm here to eliminate you. You're insane. I am the guardian of Zone 1. It is nothing without me. Remember that? What mental illness enables this blind faith hiding the obvious from your eyes? I'm the one who's going to purify the world. And you're the pest that eats away at this land. Prepare yourself. Purification in progress. You will taste the pain, you sick spirit. I'm going to cut your face to remove this insufferable smile. Daydon, World Guardian Bazaar of Zone 1. First boss. Let's see if we can poison him. Oh, it does nothing, huh? See, all of Daydon's things are related to time or time pieces. So can I even attack him normal? Okay, I can. What about that? I can as well. See, a mid in hand, hour hand, sweep hand. All of this stuff is time pieces. Date on uh, skips like day. So because I uh, wanted to show things, I think I'm a little over level for this, and I intend to be over leveled. So normally, that's a thing that I was talking about and I forgot about. Normally in this game, in a game, you would get the last few abilities as you're beating the game. Kotor works like that, you know. That is uh, Kanji for laughing, by the way. It's meant to imply that he has a very distinctive laugh. You know, like you hear it and you know it's Daydon. He's good, actually. It's not great, I'll say. back up. Get you some more. What if I can... Ooh, nice. Let's crack one of these, huh? Anyway, normally in the game, you would unlock the last ability as, you know, you play the game. You unlock the last ability the last time you right? That isn't actually the case in this game. Um, the batter actually gets his last ability at level 45. As mentioned, you can comfortably beat this game around 15. Does this do anything still? No. Weird. Um, I'm kind of tempted to grind. If you don't grind, in fact, there will be a whole element that you just don't see, straight up. Like, you just can't use it, which is kind of wild, right? Like, you would think you would just be able to do everything. There we go.
adversaries purified. Cancel card. Yay. Converted string has been acquired. String. <laughs> Is this a joke? I lost. <sighs> lost. You defeated Dadon guarding the first zone. This land is now pure. We did it, guys. Hell yeah, I'd like to save. This is Hugo. He's one of the only sprites with color. Um... That blanket he's holding is actually a piece of meat. Uh, it doesn't come across from the sprite, but apparently that's what that is. That didn't start well. You can hear that he has a cough. All right, we're back in the nothingness. All right, let's go here. Just because I want to save without going to the new area and spoiling things. Come on, give me a little save point. Man. Oh, hey, Zachary's here. What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I'm here as well. On the other hand, it's been a while since I've seen Pablo around here. What do you have? Do you have anything good, dude? Oh yeah, for whatever reason, he calls uh, the judge Pablo, which I think might be his real name. All right. So yeah, that's a good episode, everyone. Uh, I've been Alfred. We've been playing off. I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. See you later.